Well, it's the month of May and time for another edition of Ride of the Month. And I can't think of any better place to do it than right here at the racing capital of the world, Indianapolis, Indiana, the home of the Indianapolis 500. Drivers, start your engines! Welcome to 41 Garage and Grill. If you like Jeeps going on adventures and occasionally throwing something on the grill, then this is the place for you. So smash the subscribe right now. Today we're at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway uh, for our series ride of the month. The month of May in uh, Indianapolis is huge. It's a traditionally a month long event leading up to the 500. Um, all kinds of stuff happening at the track all month. So uh, we're gonna talk about some of that, but uh, also just write these numbers down. The number four, the number 40, I'll say 42-ish, because I don't know, I have to look this up exactly. 42-ish, um, the, the number 106, and 300,000. So try to figure out right now how those relate to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. We're gonna go and see the museum, see what cars they have on display this week, and uh, go from there. So let's go check it out. So I mentioned the number 106. See if you can guess what that number is right now. Right now I'm showing you previous winners of this race. And I know I'm going fast, but there's a lot. So, still got a long ways to go. It's unbelievable the history of this place here. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, still got a ways to go. And if you guessed that there's 106 winners, you're wrong. This year is year number 106. So 105 is it. Look at that wall. <clears throat> and then you can see here in 1994, so up until then they only had the 500 and then 94 they started having the Brickyard, the NASCAR races. And through the years they've had other Grand Prix races and MotoGP races. So these are all people that have won here for various events. Let's talk about the number four. Number four is the most times one person has won the race. There's actually more than one, but this is AJ Foyt's car here that he won his fourth race in. So in here is a bunch of pictures and somehow we gotta get a Jeep in this video one way or another. And here's photographers back in 1946 at the track. So according to the notes here, this is the first car that was ever designed using computer technology and actually had onboard uh, telemetry that they could send back to the garages for uh, review. It was only used in practice, but it was a groundbreaking back then and uh, changed things in the future. Look at that exhaust all tangled in there. That's crazy. So these are the layers of the track over the years. And one thing I never realized that in the beginning, it actually was stone and gravel. So this is kind of how it breaks down. Coming up to number eight, which was in 1909, is when they put the layer of the famous layer of bricks on there. So this by far is the oddest looking car. Can you imagine hanging out on the side there? <clears throat> um, they said the designer was a guy from the NASCAR world and um, never actually made it into the race. It was wrecked during practice. But look at that thing. Looks like a side cart on a motorcycle. Okay. 
This car here was the groundbreaking car that brought wings to Indianapolis. Uh, it was driven by Bobby Unser in the year it qualified was 17 seconds faster than the previous pole record. <laughs> No way to see the perspective how flat and wide this car is. Uh, it looks like it was from 1962. Let's see if I can come down this way and see better. Almost looks like a stingray or something going down the track. So this car we're walking up to now is the Wasps. It won the first Indy 500. One of the interesting facts beyond that about it is when they designed it, they didn't design room for a mechanic, so a lot of the other competitors were complaining uh, that it was unsafe. Um, because back then they had mechanics riding along in the car with them to help if breakdowns happen or to help watch out for potential hazards on the track. Well, they designed this mirror right here and they believe that is the first car ever to have a mirror uh, in the, in, on a car. So there you go, that's the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Museum. That's Ride of the Month. All those cool cars, all the history here is unbelievable. Um, now for some facts. Uh, I can't remember what numbers I told you to remember, but this is the 106th race this year. Just think about that for a second, 106th race. It's not all consecutive years. There's been some breaks in there because of World War and things like that, but 106 races have been held here. Um, what's the other one? Four. Four. The most um, that any one person has won this race is actually four people that have done that. AJ Foyt, Alan Sir Jr., Rick Mears, and Helio Castro Neves just done it last year. He uh, won his fourth. So the first year was 1911. The average race speed was 75 miles an hour. 2021, the average race speed was 190 miles an hour. Two and a half mile track. It's roughly 42 second lap. Uh, if you think about that, they're crossing a football field a second, so that, that's getting after it. So uh, 300,000, that was the other one I think I told you. The average attendance at this race is 300,000 people every year. Um, it's, it just boggles my mind to think about that. Um, so definitely the race is something to put on your uh, bucket list if it's not already there. It's, uh, it's more than just a race, it's an entire day of things going on, festi festivals and stuff like that. The whole month of May, like I said, is uh, stuff going on every weekend here, whether it's qualifications, there's some other races leading up to the 500 and things like that. So, so anyways, I uh, thought this would be a really cool way to do the ride of the month in May. I hope you really enjoyed it. I probably didn't do it half the justice it deserves. There's, again, there's just so much history in that place and um, you can even take a tour around the track if you want to uh, anyways if you did like this one give me a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed subscribe see more videos like this and other mostly mostly try to do the jeep content but this was something special i wanted to throw up here uh, and anyways give me a comment below if you think you would come here and uh what you thought about all this stuff so i love it i love this place and uh Anyways, that's all I got for now. So until the next one, we'll see ya. Boom! Tell me why'd you have to go and drive me so crazy? Now I'm feeling lost without you, and I just can't be without you, baby. Want you all night long? Want you all night long? Tell me why'd you have to go and drive me so crazy? Now I'm feeling lost without you, and I just can't be. Tell me, why'd you have to
And I just had 